Good morning, Luna. <laughs> good morning. Yeah, are you saying good morning? Yeah? Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's me, it's Sophie, and this, this is Luna. She is the newest member of our little family. We adopted her about two months ago, and these past few weeks have been an absolute whirlwind in terms of trying to get her to open up and trust us and just to like feel at home here and now she really feels at home here and i'm so proud of her okay she looks a little grumpy because i'm kind of waking her up from her nap by talking but today i just wanted to talk about all things adopting a pet especially with your partner especially ah uh, I wanted to talk about all things adopting a pet, particularly if you're a young couple like me and George are, and just kind of some of the things that we went through and the processes and steps that we took before deciding that we were ready to adopt a little cat. And here she is. She's, she's so, she's so cute. I can't. So, um here we go <laughs> the first step to getting any pet is getting to the conclusion that you are actually ready to adopt because as we all know adopting a pet is a lifetime commitment if and when you do decide to go through with it especially if you're going through with it with a partner there's a lot of things you have to talk about before you actually sign the papers George and I have always talked about getting a pet together and for the longest time it honestly just felt like some far-off future dream like home ownership or having stable jobs so, like any super organized individuals, we made a spreadsheet. <laughs> we got some facts and figures together and we really looked into how much it would actually cost us to get a cat, and we sat down one evening to answer some of the big questions. How much is this going to cost us a month? Can we afford it? What if she gets into an accident? Can we afford surprise vet bills? What if we move to a new city? Is she gonna come with us? Who's actually going to sign the papers? And what happens if we break up? Who gets custody? Custody. Sorry, that was, that was an opportunity that could not be missed. After answering all of the logistical questions, it came on to the big question, and arguably the most important question that you should ask when deciding whether or not you want to adopt. Why are we doing this? The simple answer really is because we want to. The more complicated answer is, I have been super depressed and there have been multiple studies shown that having a little pet companion, particularly cats and dogs, can really help reduce stress and anxiety in a person. So I a thousand percent cited that when I told my parents <laughs> that we were getting a cat. But in all seriousness, after we figured out that, hey, we actually can afford to do this and it's not going to break our banks and we're confident that we're not just getting a pet to fill a hole in our relationship, the next answer uh, and deciding factor in getting a cat was companionship. Like I said, I have been super down and it came mostly from being home alone every day and kind of the onslaught of rejection emails from potential workplaces is a really hard thing to go through, especially if you're alone. And the addition of a small loving companion just makes it easier to manage stress and anxiety on the daily. So we decided to go through with it, which brings us on to adoption day. What were you doing today? Getting a cat. We're getting a cat. We're getting a cat today. I'm so excited. When we were super definitely 100% sure that this was right for us, I looked at every single rescue center I could find until one day I emailed someone and I was like, hey, excuse me, I've seen a cat that I really like and I would love to meet her. And she got back to me and she said, we were welcome to come and visit her and her other foster cats and visit Luna. And if we liked her, we could take her home that very same day. We spoke over email and talked about the actual paperwork and the fees and what would be covered by going through this particular rescue center and we were told that the adoption fees were £90 which covered a full vaccination record, Luna being spayed and a full month of pet insurance. So George and I took an hour long bus journey deep into another county we had never been in and Google mapped our way to the house to meet Luna. our just turned one perfect little kitten pal. She may have been super shy when we first brought her home, but every day her personality shines through more and more. Her current favorite things are a pink ping pong bowl,
And this mouse, we have named him Maurice. From saying good morning and asking for food, to chasing around the ping pong ball, to snuggling up on the couch while I edit, she has come such a long way from that very first day. It's only been a couple of months, but I'm so happy she's joined our little family, and I'm super excited to take on all of life's adventures with her by our side. Until next time, goodbye! Oh, One, two, three,